There are also different ways to control the device. Well, the first way to control the device is by using regular buttons on slide pod. In order to slide it out, just press the plus button and you see the slide pod starts moving. If you want to adjust speed and make it go out faster, you just press plus button a couple times and it slides out faster. If you want it to go back, just press minus button and it will go back. If you want to make it go back slower, you just adjust your speed by controlling these buttons. And let me tell you, this slide pod is really strong. I'm trying to push it as hard as I can, really, but I cannot, I cannot stop it. So you can put a really, really heavy setup here. Bro, I cannot stop it, wow. Well, that was the first way to control the device. The second way is by using a hand unit and the head unit allows you to control the device remotely. In order to connect the slide pod to the hand unit, you need to turn on the head unit first. It turns on, then you go to wireless and you press pair, like so. When it says pairing, you turn on the slide pod and it says pairing OK. What a nice way to say it. Pairing OK. Now you can control the slide pod from this hand unit, just like this. You can go forward or backwards, but it's better to mount it on a tripod. There are several different modes in the application you can use to control the slide pod. First mode is a regular mode. You can choose the path of the slide pod and it will follow your settings as you set it in the app. You can adjust the maximum extension length and the speed. Second mode is a segmentation mode. Here you can set different paths for the slide pod. It will start moving according to the first path you set, then it will switch to the second path, then it will switch to the third and so on. So you can set different settings within this segmentation mode and the slide pod will follow them. Next mode is a step time-lapse mode. Here you can select the step length, cycle and step movement time. After the setting is completed, tap start and the device will move according to the set length, speed and cycle. You can also use the slide pod, not only as a slider, but as a monopod for your gimbal. I will be using the Moza Aircross 2. First, we need to switch between the quick release mount for the camera and then we we'll put on the quick release adapter. So we can actually mount the air cross to like this, slides in, and then we secure it. So it will not go anywhere. Then you just mount the air cross to, to the slide pod, like so, okay. Make sure it's tightened up. It's very tight right now, okay. And you can see these shots were taken with the gimbal, the cinematic, panning and going down at the same time. This is actually like drone kind of shot and it creates a little bit of tracking feeling in the video. You can also change the colors of these LED lights on your slide pod according to your preference. If you want to upgrade your firmware on the slide pod, it's really easy to do if you're using Moza app. If the upgrade fails, try to restart the process again until the upgrade is successful. All right, this is it for the unboxing video of the slide pod. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I will reply to them in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching once again. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.